Hey Yogi, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I have a sequence for you that is fantastic for your core. And you can do this sequence even if you're a yoga beginner. I'll make sure to let you know with more intense poses what you can do to modify so that you have an awesome practice that's perfect for you. So let's get started. Come on back to child's pose. Bring your knees a little bit wider than your ribs. Settle your belly down. In between your thighs, let your forehead rest. So even though we are focusing on revving up our core, and we'll get to that in a minute, right now just focus in on softening your belly. Let your breath travel low into the basin of your pelvis. And let your exhales be slow. Again, deeply breathe in. And deeply breathe out. Last time, inhale. And exhale. And then just walk your hands over to the right side of your mat. Maybe they come off your mat just a little bit. Stretch into your left side body. Let every inhale fill into your left ribs. One more time. Great job. Take your hands over to the left side of your mat. Maybe your hands walk off just a little bit. And then start to feel length in your right side body. Invite your hips to stay grounded as you inhale. Put some space between your right ribs. And let your exhale be slow. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Walk yourself back to the middle. Lift to a tabletop. So you're going to come to hands and knees. And we'll warm up our spine before we go into our deep core work. So on the inhale, just take a cow pose, tailbone moves up, belly drops low, lift your heart. As you exhale, cat pose, tailbone moves under, belly draws in and up, push into your hands, round your gaze back to your thighs. Inhale for cow pose, tailbone up, belly low, heart lifts. Exhale for cat pose, round your spine, press into your hands, Gaze back to your thighs. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Good, lengthen to neutral. And then just gaze over your right shoulder towards your right hip, a little C curve for your spine. And then take it to the other side, gaze over your left shoulder. Good, come back to the center. Draw in the pit of your low belly in and up. Press down firm into your hands. Send your right arm forward and your left leg back. So we think about core strength. It's a lot about spinal stabilization. So making sure that you're not dumping into your low back. Zip the low belly in and up so that you have nice firm core around your spine so you can hold this balance. Good. Just a few more breaths. The nice thing about core work like this is you don't have to do a single crunch and you're still doing a lot for all of the muscles that help you stabilize your spine and strengthen your middle. 
One more inhale. Then exhale, release. Nice job. Press into the ground. Reach your left arm forward and send your right leg back. Reach in opposing directions, but then also hug the arm bone back into the shoulder socket and the leg bone up into the hip socket. Continue to firm the low belly. Let your spine be long and push into the ground. You're doing great. Just a few more breaths. Continue to reach through your hand and your foot. One more inhale. Exhale, hand and knee down. And then just shift back to child's pose. Soften the elbows, let the shoulders rest for a moment. Full breath in. Full breath out. Great job, come back up to tabletop. So we'll move into an elbow to knee exercise, but it starts from that balance that we just found. So extend your right arm forward and your left leg back. Take a full breath in, get a little longer. On your exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Good, so we're gonna do that eight times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Good, breathe in, get long, reach away. Exhale, hug it all the way in till you're empty of air. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. You're doing great. Let's find four more. Lengthen and hug. Three more. Lengthen and hug. Last two. Reach and hug. Last one. Reach and hug. Everything gets long. And then return your hand and your knee to the ground. Soften your elbows and then just roll your rib cage in circles and that'll loosen all of that workout. Kind of like your spine is doing a jump rope. Good, two more times. Great work. Come back to the middle, draw the low belly in, find the balance this time with your left arm forward and your right leg back. Get really long, then draw your elbow to your knee as you exhale. Great, so we're gonna do that eight more times. Inhale for length, exhale, hug in. Breathe in as you get long, like you're kicking your hand and foot away. Then exhale, pull it in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Get long and strong, then contract, pull in. Four more, reach, pull in. Reach, pull in, get long, elbow to knee, last one, elbow to knee. Reach everything out, then hand and knee down, soften the elbows and then turn that jump rope in the other direction. So if you notice that your shoulders feel a little bit sticky, you can put a softness in your elbows as you turn the belly. Two more times. Good. Inhale, lengthen through the middle, and then shift it back to child's pose once again. Bring your forehead down, soften your elbows. Intentionally soften your belly here as well. So you revved it up, fired it up. Now let those muscles relax a bit. Fully breathe in, low into the belly, and fully breathe out. Again like that, with a soft abdomen, inhale. And exhale. Last time. Good, return to tabletop. We'll take one more exercise from this tabletop position. So send your right toes out behind you and then step your left foot back, come onto your right hand. So we're gonna come into a supported side plank. So as you do that, reach your top arm up and this might be plenty. So if you wanna stay right here, do that. If you're feeling pretty strong today and you want to take it up one more level, 
lift your leg off your yoga mat and flex your toe back towards your nose. Now, take your top arm and reach it away. Good. Hold and breathe here. Let your low belly draw in and reach your hand and your foot away from one another. If you notice a little shake, a little quake in your body, that's just your muscles working. Continue to breathe. You're doing great. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, hand and knee down. Great job. Feel stability as you press your shin bones down into the earth and you push your palms into the ground. We'll take the other side. So spin your toes away, step your foot back, reach your arm up. So again, this might be plenty for you right here and you wanna keep your foot grounded. If that's the case, do so, listen to your body. If you're feeling strong, you want to take it up to the next level, lift your leg and take your top arm over your ear. Make both sides of your waist really long. Reach your foot and your hand away from one another. Continue to breathe in and out at a steady pace. If you'd like, you can turn your gaze up to the ceiling. Continue to breathe. You're doing great. Two more. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, hand and knee down. Last time, shift back to child's pose. In addition to being great for your core, you probably noticed that the supported side plank is also really good for your outer hip muscles. So here in child's pose, you can let those stretch out. Great. Inhale back up to tabletop. And then just shift back for a quick downward facing dog. Stretch out your legs. You can pedal out your legs if you need to. Good. And then shift forward to a plank pose and lower all the way down to your belly. Loop your shoulder heads back and then untuck your toes. So in addition to having our core on the front, typically think of like our abdominals, right? We also consider our spinal muscles on the backside of our body, part of our core. So let's strengthen those. Bring the heels of your hands underneath your shoulders and then make your hands nice and light. Let your head drop down and press into your feet. Good, on your inhale, come into a little baby cobra. Lift the back of your heart, lift your neck, lift your head, squeeze your shoulder blades in and let your hands be light. Take another breath in. On your exhale, lower. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Good, exhale, lower down. And then just take your hands, make a little diamond shape. Lay your forehead in it. Just make a nice little pillow for your head to rest. If your low back has some tension, you can wag your heels side to side. That'll relieve low back tension. Good. Take another inhale. And exhale. Good, now send your arms long to your side. Place your palms down towards the ground. We'll take locust pose with airplane arm variation. So this will level up your spinal strength just a little bit. On your inhale, lift your chest like you did in Cobra, but also lift your arms and lift your legs. Flare through your toes and reach your legs long. Send your hands back and pinch your shoulder blades in. So let everything in the back line of your body get really strong and lift up. Good, continue to breathe here. Continue to lift your legs a bit longer behind you. Take one more inhale and exhale, release. Bring your hands back under your forehead and wash your heels side to side.
bring your hands under your shoulders, press yourself up to tabletop, and then bring your legs out in front of you. We'll set up for boat pose. So now that we know our spine's really strong, our core is engaged and lifted, we'll challenge yourself in boat. Walk your heels in towards your seat, lift your low belly up, and then lengthen your spine. I like to start with my hands behind my thighs. So if this feels plenty for you right here, there's no need to lift your feet. You're doing just fine right here. If you want to add a little extra challenge, draw your chest and your knees close, rock onto your sit bones, and lift your shins. I like to flare through my toes when you have really strong feet and makes your legs feel lighter for your body. If your hands feel light, you can also take your hands away from your thighs. If, however, you're shaking and quaking right here, this is a lot of work and boat pose is a very challenging pose, you're welcome to keep your hands here or touch your heels down anytime that you need. Good. If you're doing just fine, take your hands to your heart. So we've worked lots of different sides of our body and we're gonna add a little rotation here to our boat to up the challenge. So on your inhale, reach prayer hands towards your toes. On your exhale, twist and bring elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen through the middle. Exhale, twist. Again, you can touch your heels down anytime that you need. Use your exhales for rotation. Every time you come through the center, lengthen your spine. Every time you exhale, twist elbow to knee. You're doing great. And twist. Lengthen and twist. Let's do four more, two more on each side. And twist. Lengthen and twist. One more each side. Lengthen and twist. Lengthen and twist. Good, come through the middle, squeeze your thighs together, and for just a little challenge, lengthen your legs and your arms any amount. Four, three, two, one. Good, lower your heels. You're gonna roll all the way down to your back. Stamp your feet, reach your fingertips towards the backs of your heels. I'll just take one set of bridge. Press down into your feet, lift your hips. Let your shoulder blades snuggle underneath the back of your heart. Turning on the back line of the body, so similar muscles that we found in Cobra and our locus. Just stretching out the front side of the body that we fired up in our tabletop work. Take one more breath in. Good. Release your hips down. Just windshield wiper your knees side to side for a moment. Let your low back relax. Great work. Draw your knees into your chest and we'll find happy baby. So you can take your hands either to your thighs, to your ankles, or all the way up to your feet. Find the place that feels comfortable for your body today. Let your torso get heavy into the earth. Gently draw your knees down and counterbalance that action by pressing your feet up. You'll feel this a little more deeply in your hips. Invite your low belly to start to soften. Take one more breath in. And release your knees to your chest on breath out. Curl your forehead up to meet your knees. One more big inhale. And exhale, come out into Shavasana. Let your legs go wide. Let your arms come out like an A-frame to the body. Turn your palms up and let your eyes close. Feel any heat that you built in this core series start to fade away, cool away. Invite your body to feel heavy here on your yoga mat. Take a few more breaths in and out, slow and soft. Good. 
then roll your wrists and your ankles. Stretch your arms overhead. Then move your knees into your chest and roll onto your side. You can use your arm like a pillow to cradle your head. Then gently press up to a seat. Take your hands to your heart. Fill up with appreciation and gratitude for what your body can do. And as you sigh it out, let go of any tension. Great work. Thanks so much for tuning in, Yogi. You did a great job. I hope you stay tuned for the entire series. This is part two of a three-part series. In the next video, we're going to focus on your upper body. So until then, thank you and namaste. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv Get well, feel better.